Hello everybody, uh, Neil Ops here. Um, just a quick video um, to show you how to set up uh, a simple way to set up in this create server and point to a custom uh, map uh, like Badlands, which is what we'll use in this example. Um, really easy to do. On Steam, there's a, a something that uh, the SES Unity guys have posted, which is a, a zip file which contains the Steam CMD and uh, the scripts to install the server. Really easy to use. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so all you need to do is create a folder somewhere for to put your server in. Um, I've done this C drive called a miscreated server, um, and I've taken the zip file which I've downloaded, uh, copied all the files from there, extracted them all into my folder, and then ran the install. I've just skipped that bit because it takes ages. Um, so when it, once it's uninstalled, it creates the miscreated server folder, and sets everything up for you in a basic form so inside there we've now got the hosting file which is the basic one not a lot in it so we'll want to change that to something useful so call your server whatever you want uh, change the password this is for uh, Archon so you want to change that so people don't just break into your server. Uh, message of the day, you can change them, you take them out, whatever you fancy. And yeah, we'll have a, a startup script. This is for starting up your dedicated server. So what we want to do is we want to make some changes in here. This is very basic, this one. Um, in here, all we want to do is change this, the map name. Now this is pointing to islands, so this is the normal miscreated map. Uh, so in this one we want to use Badlands. Uh, the ports, if you're running more than one server, you're going to need to change these ports. If you're running more than one server on the same network. Um, also, <coughs> I like to take this out. Um, I don't want to bind to that port. What I do with mine as well, which I'll find it, is I create a little script that will back up the database file every time the server restarts. Um, so far. So I like to put this in. This means if anything goes wrong with the database, I've got a backup. So this is just, I'm going to copy this database file, which is not here yet because I haven't started the server up, but it'll be in this folder. And I'm just going to put it in this folder here. And I'm going to tag it with a date and the time the file extension database and at the end of here I'll have to put go to start so that it will just loop round and round and start the server again uh, so that's what startup script created we've got 50 players we're using the Badlands map um, and we're using the standard ports And so we'll have to go in the hosting file and we're going to have to add some stuff in here just to make it a bit better. In fact, in fact, mine will be helpful. So we'll put So we need to put the, 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 the UGC code from Steam in here so that we can load uh, the map that we want to load. Uh, and again, in this case, we're doing Badlands. I did have this written down somewhere, but I can't find it now. We'll go to Steam and find it. Just past it. So I'm gonna grab it from up here. Paste it into there. I always make it the first one on the list. It 
it loads them in order, so it's going to load the map first before any other mods that you might want to use. And that's pretty much it. That server should start up now. Now this is the box that I'm running Badlands on at the minute, but this should start. Allow it through the firewall. And you can see now it's created the database file. So this is the one we're going to back up with the startup script. But I need to fix the path. So in here I'll need to create a new folder called backups. So now it'll store me backups in there every time the server restarts. I'll just rename this path as well because it's wrong. Yeah, so that's that. That's set ready to go. It takes a little while for the server to start up, especially on the first try. So it should be running. That should be working there now. Um, the other things you need to do is you need to go and forward your ports and your router. Um, you'll want to forward, like in this one, the standard ones. Um, the first f the four ports, I think it's four. I forward four anyway. So 64090. Uh, 64091234. Forward those to whatever machine your server's running on. And that should be it, really. Um, any questions, stick them in the comments below. Um, if you want us to make any other videos, uh, just let me know. And I think that's probably all we've got. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you later.